Oh, I know what's going on. Because I fixed it last time and I changed... I changed this. The camera does something different every single time. I turn on OBS. There we go. Okay. What's up, folks? Uh, it is Friday. Um, it's been an exhausting day. Uh, for a lot of reasons. But we made it to Friday. Um, here we are. So yesterday, we made it to the Western Isle, make sure my captions are on, there we go, captions are on. So yesterday we made it to the Western Isle, and we needed to go to the something dominion guild dominion <laughs> forgot the name but we went there we were on the way there and we ran into a person named lavia the game said was a boisterous boy uh, brash kind of reckless and uh gladio their attendant who was really strong, had super cool red armor. And, um, they needed, well, we wanted the, we saw them, as saw the relic, assumed they were the maiden, asked for the relic, and Lavia said, no, you can't have it, I need to catch this monster that got free. So we agreed to help them catch the monster, which, they definitely didn't need our help. Caught the monster, went back in town, found out that people really look down on Lavia. Lavia is trying to prove himself. We go to rest, and we see everyone respects Gladio. We go to rest, and well, a fight almost breaks out. So we jump in to intervene. We get some good dodges. We get a nice kick in. And then Gladio stops the fight by telling everybody to knock it off. Um, we go to rest. And we try to figure out from Lavia what's happening in the town. Lavia says, because he's a boy, no one respects him. His mom, who was the previous maiden, was well respected, but passed away. So he wants a chance to kind of prove himself to folks who don't believe he can cut it. Then asks our help to join a tournament, which you can join up and fight with other people, to become the maiden. Which is interesting that it wasn't one-on-one -on -one fights because only one person could become the Maiden. You can fight in pairs of two or trios. So we agree to help. We go do, do the rounds of fights. Even the announcer is trash talking Lavia. Um, and then we get to the last round and we actually fight against Gladio, who was solo and was just wrecking folks and moving up the tournament. So we fight Gladio Lavia and Gladio. That was a good fight, by the way. Gladio could have been tough. <laughs> we fight Gladio. Lavia and Gladio clash swords. And before the final blow is struck, the monster we captured broke free from its cage yet again. And was coming at us to rampage us. They killed it. When we fought it, they got the final blow in together. Killed it. And, and one. And so then everybody was like crazy, you know, and, and respected the power that Lavia had, finally. 
Um, then as we're going to leave, we see Lavia and find out that Lavia actually was a girl the entire time. Why she decided to play as a boy. Well, th why did she chose to tell everyone she was a boy instead of being a girl? Not quite sure. She's more comfortable in the, you know, clothes that allow her to fight more than in the clothes that are more regal and formal for a maiden. Um, so the, the card says that she dresses as the maiden when she has to honor guests. Otherwise, she wears the normal um, the normal clothing that she likes to wear when she's fighting that's more comfortable to fight in. We don't know if we don't know if Gladio knew that she was a boy. I mean, she was a girl the whole time. Or if Gladio was also being fooled. I would assume Gladio knew that she was who she was, probably knew Lavia's mom. You know, there, there's probably, there's a lot there that they don't really explain. You just kind of leave it kind of vague and up to interpretation. I'm going to assume Gladio knew that Lavia was not a boy and was helping her get strong enough to feel, be as respected as her mom was in terms of fighting prowess. But because she was so hot-headed, people it was easy for her people to construe her, misconstrue her as a boy. Or maybe she fooled no one. Maybe everyone knew she was a girl. Who knows? But we got the relic from her. She became a maiden. She didn't have to do the sacrificial ritual that Fila did. We don't know if it's because she just became the maiden and there's no need to yet. If Fila needed to do it because the, the, her island was in danger. None of that. We just... We see Fila give us the relic and say, bring it back when we're done. But then she has a tear, the game said, had a tear run down her face, which almost makes it seem like she knows at some point she's going to also die and might pass away before we come back. So maybe she will be going to do the ritual now that we've left and she's given us the relic and knew what that meant somehow. So I don't know. It's interesting. They haven't really explained what the maiden's role is in terms of protecting. Because it sounded like the mom was the maiden, but didn't have to do the ritual. She grew up and was a mom. So why did Fila, as a teenager, have to sacrifice herself in the ritual? There's a lot of kind of holes in the story that don't really make sense to me. So now we are supposed to go back to Omega Village so we can see if... Laddie has any information from her mom about what she needs to do to be a maiden. And that's where our story picks up today. What's up, Cow Chab? What's up, Nitro? How y'all doing? Hola, Senor Yeged. I speak the language of love and honor of the new Pokemon game, being in a region based in Spain. Oh, is that where it's based out of? Nice. I think I had kind of heard some things about that, but I didn't pay attention to the new game at all. <clears throat> so, yeah, if anybody's playing the new Pokemon Scarlet, I hope you're enjoying it. I've seen just a little bit enough to see, like, it looked like some car Pokemon thing. I don't know. <laughs> and there's, like, some motorcycle dragon. I, I just can't keep up with all the new Pokemon coming out. It really just reminds me of the Star Bomb Poker Rap song where Pokemon were doors and t-shirts. Because they were running out of ideas. <clears throat> it is root beer, yes. Caffeine-free root beer.
They made a Pokemon called Tandem Mouse. It's literally two mice. <laughs> wow. They run out of ideas. The run out of ideas ship sailed long ago. Now it's all about puns. Hmm. Interesting. And isn't your Pokedex now also a Pokemon? Like the the Rotom or whatever? But it also doubles as a phone? And a wallet? A digital wallet? And all that? <laughs> it's so confusing. I'm so out of the loop. Yes, this is root beer. I don't drink like regular beer. I on the very small occasions where I do drink, which I have not had hall in over a year. Um, more of a liquor guy. Whiskeys, bourbons. I don't like beer. I would enjoy it. I would enjoy the puns. Or I would enjoy Pokemon Scarlet. Because I do have Pokemon... Which one? Is it Sun or Moon? And I never finished it. The reason why I never finished it, I started streaming it on stream, but I didn't finish it because of the whole some Pokemon only come out in like daytime. And because I was only playing and it's nighttime for me, I never saw any of the daytime Pokemon, so it's like oh, I'm I'm missing out on half the game already. <laughs> it's got all the exploration style of Elden Ring, but in the Pokemon shell. Well then that would make me worry that I might get ill playing it. It didn't look like it would make me too sick though. I, I was watching uh, my buddy Strauss play it a little bit. I didn't see too much, but I saw a little bit. It looked like it, it looks watchable, like I could watch it okay. But I, don't, I only saw a couple hours while I was working, so. It definitely looks a little easier to manage, but Games that look like that have gotten me sick before too, so, I don't know. That makes me hesitant to want to purchase it. Can't keep buying new games that are going to make me sick because that's money that I shouldn't be spending. Okay. Omega Village. yourselves back in the village Laddie had hitherto refused to return to. Her grip on the Crimson Maiden's relic tightens. Her face is taut and determined. Okay. Laddie's building up the courage. Laddie sets foot in the village, not even bothering to have Lack transform her face with its shape-shifting magic. So, you've returned, a woman says with no small amount of displeasure. What a warm welcome. The woman heads out of view towards the center of town, as if fleeing from Laddie's very presence. Mm. You know that Laddie, for her part, wants to become a maiden so she can protect these people. You just hope you can get that message through to them. Despite the fact that they hate her, Laddie's a real one. Convince the people of Omega Village to formally recognize Laddie. See, this is where it gets a little strange because the story's kind of getting super disjointed. I thought we needed to clear all her heart scars and that's why we needed the relics. Why are we trying to convince people to take her back as a maiden right now when we don't have all the relics? I mean, I'm sure the game will explain that, but that's just a, a in the procession of things. I, I'm not keeping up with the flow very well. You begin introducing Laddie, only to be rudely interrupted. I'm busy, the old man snaps. You begin introducing Laddie, but the boy cuts you off. Look, I'm sorry, but you need to leave. These people aren't worth saving right now. The frankly heartless reception Laddie receives begins to weigh on her. Her head hangs low. Her resolve from earlier, now a distant memory. 
Whatever happened here, it's frayed her relations with the village even more than you thought. You all decide it's best to leave the villagers alone for the time being, and instead search for her mother's personal effects. You know, ABM, what up? Yeah, at this point they can burn. Visit the mayor. What if the mayor is her dad? You ask the girl if she'd like to play with Laddie, but she simply glares at you and says, Mom told me not to talk to you. Is this your mom over here? Slap her, Laddie. You start explaining Laddie's plight to the woman, but she doesn't even acknowledge your existence. Been a while. It's been a little bit. It's good to see you. Lurked yesterday. Okay, cool. Sleep schedule is messed up enough to be here. No, that's totally fine. I definitely get it. Sleep is... As a person who has had sleep issues for a very, very long time, documented sleep issues, sleep is one of the most important things you can do. So anytime you can sleep, that trumps being here by, you know, infinity. Sleep when you can. Your brain needs it, your mind needs it for so many things. Mental health, weight loss, thinking ability. <laughs> Physical, mental wellness, relaxation, comfort, sleep if you can. And if you are someone who can sleep for 13, 15 hours, don't let people shame you into thinking that you sleep too much. They're just jealous they can't sleep as much as you do. Laddie leads you to her home, which turns out to be the home of Mayor Grief. You always considered yourself close with Grief, and yet you had no idea he had a daughter. You open the door to a completely silent house. Grief must be out. Are we going to be slapping Grief? He seemed kind of cool, but also like a jerk at the same time at the start of the game. If he starts trouble, if we get to slap him, I'm absolutely choosing that option. Your schedule always moves up a bit, so now you're awake late nights. Ah, you got the shifting roaming schedule. That's tough. That's hard to navigate too. It'll shift to normal in due time. <laughs> you're one of those people, your usual sleep time's about 12 hours. Ah, oh, 12 plus, that sounds so good. I, I sleep, you know, good sleep good because it's never restful but a good sleep is five it averages three to four so yeah i always have to take a small nap in the afternoon but yeah that's why i stream one of the reasons why i stream is because to help keep myself to stay awake to be able to sleep until i need to wake up so I have to go to sleep later in order to wake up when I need to. If I go to sleep too early, then I'm awake too early. Like way, way, way too early and can't go back to sleep. So, yeah. Had it since a kid. Yeah, intermittent sleep, I have to. Like, after a long day of work, I just get so tired. I, I almost pass out. Like, I'll sit on the couch and then I'm just, I can't stay awake. Or, you know, I'll, I'll get in bed and... I'll just sleep for, you know, two hours or so, two and a half hours. So, like I have to. But even with that, that means on average, I'm maybe getting six hours of sleep total in 24 hours. It's just spread out <laughs> across hours. It's not a good way to rest. I know some people in the world are good enough. At, I mean, I guess technically I'm one of them now where you can just go off of a few hours of sleep, but the difference is, is that they can feel rested. I don't. So, yeah, if, you, if you're someone who can go for an hour of sleep a day, or you like Piccolo and you never need to sleep, hey, more power to you. You can get a lot done. That's a lot of video games you can play. <laughs> Laddie enters what is ostensibly her home with the soft, suspicious movements of a thief. Where are the personal effects of Laddie's late mother? 
probably in Greeth's room, but let's look in the kitchen. I want to see if Greeth shows up while we're here. Did I see the latest movie? No, it didn't look interesting to me. Wasn't really a fan of the art style. I like the... I... I the only time I've really liked the CGI 3D anime style is with Zoids. And even then, to a small degree. Um, I typically just like the traditional 2D anime art style. Yeah. So. And and then just, like, so I, I read the wiki for the movie. Um, and I don't know. <laughs> the power-ups are just kind of weird, like... Piccolo getting mega strong because of a wish from the dragon. And then Gohan having not really trained Harley at all. Awakening the latent power like he's, you know, better than Broly. And becoming stronger than Goku and Vegeta out of nowhere. Uh, I don't know about that. So. <laughs> Super Saiyan Piccolo, you know, Super Namekian, uh, official Super Namekian. And then Beast Gohan. Uh, Beast Gohan is just kind of a dumb name anyway. Ultra fans be like, they foreshadowed it in the Boo Saga. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it's, I don't know. I'm just not really digging it. Because then it's like, okay, well, are either of them stronger than Black Frieza? Because if not, it doesn't matter. Don't care. Frieza would still wipe the floor with them, probably. Frieza had the equivalent of 10 years of training. And Frieza's got ridiculously high potential as is. Does that beat Gohan getting mad? That potential? I mean, Gohan's potential is through the roof. We've seen that from the start. Went from a whiny baby to cracking Raditz's its armor and almost would have killed him if he didn't have the armor. To, you know, getting with Frieza as a young boy in his what second third form for a little bit because he got mad so like his his potential has always just been ridiculously insane but is it that good can he stop black frieza is he going from studying and neglecting pan to stronger than you know ultra instinct goku and ego <laughs> ego boost of vegeta uh, i feel like that's a bit of a stretch you know But then again, like, I guess in Super, he trained and got all mystical again or whatever and was and was keeping up with Super Saiyan Blue. I don't know. I don't know. I like I, I I want to like Gohan. I understand how he his character develops how he does. He's more peaceful, he's a pacifist, he doesn't like to fight. I get it. Give all that shine to Goten then. He likes to fight. Let Gohan just chill on the side. <laughs> Give it to Goten. Uh, like don't let Goten waste away. We all know Trunks grows up and becomes this super baller. Fine, whatever. Let Goten have the shine if Gohan don't want to fight. Let let Goten get the shine and then let him train his niece and let Pan come up. Like Gohan can chill on the side. It's fine. We got other folks. We don't need you. You know? Your friend's favorite character is Gohan, but even he felt Gohan got done wrong. Yeah. Yeah, either keep him in the front, and he just realizes, I hate fighting, but I need to stay strong so I can help. And so I'm going to keep training. You know how a lot of pacifists are like, I train not to fight, but to defend or whatever. You know, so they're stay ready, but that they don't fight with intent to hurt. Let Gohan be like that, you know? Whatever. Family and research first. Fine. Let him work with Bulma all the time. Be the second cool scientist coming up. And then give Goten and Pan the shine. I don't know. Yeah, Black Freed's is supposed to be... Everybody says Black Frieza's beaver's tear, but I don't believe that. Let's check the kitchen. You enter the kitchen to find Lack 
noisily munching on a piece of fruit as it scrounges around the kitchen for more to eat. <laughs> Laddie's eyes widen as she points angrily at Lack. You can feel her saying, Quit eating other people's food, you animal. <laughs> I mean, she's got an angry face all the time anyway. But even as she scolds the self-proclaimed spirit, drool dribbles from the corner of her mouth. <laughs> you carefully wipe it away. What? <laughs> this is a weird... <laughs> Why are we wiping away her drool? You search the kitchen, but don't find anything all that special. You move on to another room. Okay. We'll check the storeroom next. I think Toriyama said that Beerus cannot be surpassed like at all in some interview. It'll make an interesting fight seeing Beerus actually using some of his power. Frieza, I don't think, will challenge Beerus. Um... Like, yeah, we, there, nobody in the Dragon Ball universe, in universe seven, or any other universe, can hold a candle to Beerus at all. Like, he doesn't even use all of his power. He doesn't even fight seriously. Like, he just plays with everyone. He's like, ah, this is a good challenge. Ah, that woke me up a little bit. Yeah, yeah that was something. Oh, yeah, I kind of felt that, I guess. <laughs> Frieza knows better. A lot of people are like, oh, Frieza can get with Beerus now. It's going to try to take him down. And there's the fan videos on YouTube, which are entertaining. But they're like, oh, yeah, you know, Frieza goes to another universe and becomes a god of destruction and comes back to fight everyone else and lead this army of dead angels against all these other angels and try to take them. Frieza will not do that. Frieza cares to rule that universe and kill Goku and Vegeta. That's it. That's it. But at the same time, also seems like it's going to become the route of Vegeta and become like the biggest anti-hero ever seen in anime. Well, maybe not the biggest. I won't make that big of a claim, but a huge anti-hero. Could have ended Goku and Vegeta like that, but was so pleased at knowing how much stronger he was and then was like, all right, I'm good. Here's a punch. Knock you out of your forms. Now you know what's good. See you later. I've got 10 years of training under my belt. And you can't touch me. Whereas old Frieza would have just been like, well, now you're dead. Just like Granola. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, they're doing some sort of character development with Frieza, and I'm not quite sure what. But Frieza ain't going to be dumb enough to challenge Beerus. Frieza don't want none of that smoke. <laughs> the storeroom is full of gardening implements and tools used to perform fixes around the house. The village as a whole may be in decline, but it owes its pristine houses and vibrant flower beds to the tireless efforts of its mayor. Alas, you see nothing that could be the personal effects of Laddie's mother. You move on to another room. You step into Grief's room. Sunbeams from the window play across an immaculately organized desk and tidy bookshelf. You all search for her mother's effects, doing your best not to disturb anything. Laddie tugs insistently at your sleeve. Has she found something? You turn to her. She holds in her hands a weathered book. It looks rather like the one she's been making a picture book out of. This is it. You both might finally learn something definitive about her mother. You gently open the cover. Mm. What are you doing here? The master of the house appears, his eyes wild with suspicion, darting between you and Laddie. 
you insist that you can explain if he just give you a chance. He's not going to. Unhand that diary immediately. Get out of my house. Get out of this village. He roars, clearly not willing to give you that chance. His face contorts with demonic fury. Mm. Tears forming in her eyes at the sudden and incomprehensible rage emanating from the man. Laddie runs out of the room. You gonna take that? You give chase, not sparing a single moment to contemplate what could possibly cause someone as kind as grief to become such a monster. Nah, we would have stood up and checked this fool. Uh-uh. I would not have let that go. The relic is reacting to Laddie's resolve. What, is it going to downgrade? She's sad now. Hey, look at that. Nice. Omega Memorial Staff. Well, why, though? I steeled myself to return home, where my father's roars filled the halls. Laddie gained painful memories of her family. Thus far, you have woven a tale of adventure that has incorporated yarns from the maidens of the South and West Isles. According to your navigation map, there ought to be islands home to maidens in the northern and eastern regions of the ocean as well. You've likely grown quite accustomed to seafaring. From this point onward, you can sail the ocean as you see fit. Okay. But be wary. One never knows what might happen out on the high seas. Okay. Venture north or east on the sea and search for the entrance to the island. So now we can go either way. Let's see. Why would we not stay and get answers? We went there for answers. We have not been afraid to kind of check Greek before, if I remember the start of the story. Why would we not be like, yo, what the heck is the deal? Why are you treating her like that, especially if that's your daughter? Like, we know Laddie's not gonna go anywhere except either to the secret grotto, grotto or to the boat. So, we could have tried to get some answers for her. Because the folks in the village are seem okay with us. And if he throws us out, fine. I don't even want to save this village anymore. I don't want her to become a maiden and save these people. I want their island to sink. We can go live somewhere else. There had better be a very good reason. I can't think of a good reason, but there better be one. See you last. And then we just go out. There's no conversation, and it's just like, all right, well, I guess we're going to the north or the south. Why? They're not going to change their tune just because she becomes a maiden. They're still going to hate her for whatever incident happened. I don't see the point for us continuing this journey right now. It doesn't make any sense. I don't need the ailment, I just need him to die. Teamwork makes the dream work.
Ooh, a shipwreck. Nice. Oh yeah, I wanted to switch dots since lack is faster. I'm pretty sure we got to auto save, but let's save so we don't have to do that cutscene again. You discover a shipwreck. You climb aboard and begin searching for anything useful. 2000 gold. Nice. When you return to your vessel, the shipwreck sinks silently into the sea. I guess that was just the alcove for the shipwreck. Hope you win. He needs an AoE. I guess I didn't. I guess I could have her attack. I don't need to worry about the gems. I've actually got very good gem generation. Nice crit. Excellent. So Lack has flowers for eyeballs. Man, he is a crit machine tonight. I love it. We already did the heart scar for the flowers. I wonder if there's something else. I mean, clearly we're going to be going back to the Shadow Realm at some point. I just wonder when. Ahoy, matey. Oh my gosh, I wish I could turn that off. Let me sail the seas in peace without you talking, man. Hmm. Which will that do? No, oh, neither of them resisted that. That's a surprise. a fisherman. He stares at the fish and seaweed caught in his net and lets loose a peaked sigh. You inquire as to his frustration and he replies, I just can't net myself any sea grapes. The forlorn fisher has evidently only had them once, but has never been able to forget their piquant flavors. He has since scoured seas the world over for them. He returns to his net, muttering to himself. Oh, I just want some nice salty sea grapes. <laughs> that just does not sound tasty. Okay. Where do I get sea grapes from? I don't think we've seen that. Show him what you got. What is this thing? Yo, MTD, what is going on, man? Thank you for the raid. Welcome, folks. How was your stream, dude?
Fortune favors the bold. Well, only two. I didn't get enough. I should have summoned a gem. Magnificent. Let's heal. I should be able to kill with his try attack. Or if it's AoE attack. seen sea grapes anywhere. Large chest floats in the water before you, no more than an arm's length away. Reach out and grab the chest. Yes. You take hold of the chest and pull it aboard. When you do, the lid springs open and... A monster leaps out, okay. enraged that you have disturbed its slumber. Well, uh, you don't have sea grapes, so... You have to die, I guess. There is no way I was not going to open the chest. The chest. After vanquishing the beast, you peer inside the chest. You grin, realizing that you're fine may be able to aid you on your journey. Okay. A bellwether. That's cool. Not gonna use it, most likely. That's cool. I don't know what it is, but there's just something. Oh, my dude. Please. start with an AoE there. to kill them both, but I was not confident he would Good do more damage there. Hasn't given me a reason to not think that, but... Ah, the great...
such a good move. And he starts with a two. Which is great. Okay, an attack and a defense for lack, that's good. That is very good. Interesting. I guess that's the side entrance over there. Okay, that one was a monster. I saw the blow. So we will this time hit it with our sword. You hurriedly draw your sword and strike the falling object. It turns out it was a monster. The blow you struck has it disoriented. It immediately dives back into the sea and swims away, leaving behind a scattering of coins. Nice. So you can either choose to fight or you give 500 gold. 500 gold is really nice. Things are expensive. So yeah, definitely going to clear out the rest of the sea map tiles before I go to the other islands. I'm not sure if we'll go north or east first. the place that has the better armor first. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could. We have the Lizard Squire story. I guess I could go to each town. Like, not start the story, you know? And then just see who's got the better shop. Get that gear and then do the other place first. you win. Keep forgetting to look up if they're going to make more Voice of the Card games, and if they are, when the next one's going to come out. Okay, 
Couldn't tell what that was. I'm gonna grab it. Might have been a fish again, though. Yeah. Recovered 15 HP that time. Nice. Can oh, we still? yeah. Uh, you can't cross whirlpool cards. I thought you said I could go where I want to. I'm supposed to be this great mighty seafarer. You lied to me, game. I should be able to go over rocks. I should be able to fly. Touch this, which probably unlocks this. Okay. Let's touch that then. I wonder why that's here, but it wasn't for the north. The rush of the wind filling your senses, you open up the navigation map to check your current position and heading. In the eastern region of the sea, there is supposed to be an island with a maiden living on it. However, the present look of the skies makes it clear that those waters will soon be battered by a storm. You can still turn back now, if you so choose. Is this the game's subtle way of saying, hey, this is going to be really bad for you? And you don't want to go this way yet? Go to the north? Let me you save change first. the ship's course to steer well clear of the storm. Let me save. Let's go to the north first. See if there's any gear. Goblins, enemy story. Okay. Don't hold back. I also wonder if the game is trying to say, hey, if you go to the East Isle, you're going to be stuck there for a while in the game. You'd be locked in there.
how I needed that to go. Hmm. Supreme Spirit Elixir, that's pretty nice. Okay. Even go there that way, but that was worth going this way for that chest for sure. So then let's dock on the other side, and then let's go to the town, get some gear. I'll probably check out the east first. After a long voyage, you happen upon the North Isle. On the North Isle, you will hear the tale of a maiden in white. Very well then. As long as I can leave. Prepare to go ashore. I just want to go to the shop. The North Isle is home to a range of majestic snow-capped peaks. The grandeur of which serves as a constant reminder to the residents of just how small they are. But I think we're locked in here now. Yeah, we're locked in here now. I guess I should have gone east. The Tale of the Ivory Maiden. Having grown accustomed to life on the ocean, Laddie helps you prepare to moor the vessel. Black, meanwhile, continues to laze about within the confines of Laddie's hood. Looks like Lack won't be needing dinner tonight, you muse to yourself as you unfurl the map. From the wharf extends a well-maintained road, which no doubt leads to civilization. Follow the high road out of the North Isle Pier to explore and explore the area. I clearly want to go this way first. See what's over here <laughs> that I couldn't get to before. Uh, more wind wolves. This definitely seems like the easier area. I kind of wanted to do the harder area first. Should have gone east. But what if this has a better shot? I just, I really need better gear. <laughs> um, gotta resist the wind to damage. That's a speed tie with Laddie now. You come across an open air stall. A sign reads, Huge Sale. Oh, hey, we're back at the stalls now. Okay. What you got? As you peer into the stall, a merchant whirls around to greet you. That's quite the outfit, sir. He explains that everything is on sale, and he hopes you'll buy something. It seems he'll get in trouble with his boss 
if he brings back any goods unsold. It's like the girl who will get in trouble with her dad. Mm, a quality omni cell. That's pretty good. Want to save money for the armorer though. So now I need to click around here until we find. Hopefully, it doesn't take two hours to find all of the uh, different shop the folks. The peddler is closing mm. up the stall to head back to his boss. See you another time, he says. You cannot shop here anymore. Then we can find some really good stuff. Mm. Then I might go to the east anyway. Ahead of you on the path. You spot a woman crouched on the ground. Woman with twisted ankle. It looks as though she's twisted her ankle. She looks up at you and asks, Don't suppose you could spare any salve? I can. I will give you one. You draw some salve from your pack and give it to the woman. She gulps it down in one go and then starts jumping up and down with considerable vigor. I want one of those. Medicine, am I right? Hmm. It's the one thing we can all count on, she Woman. says with a broad smile. Woman with untwisted ankle. <laughs> this is all I have, but it's yours. She hands you a small token of her appreciation. Thanks. Sea grapes. Oh, we got the grapes. Okay, we can bring those to the guy. Nice. She explains that they were given to her as a souvenir by a friend. But alas, she isn't one for seafood. Okay, awesome. You put the sack of sea grapes into your pack and continue on your journey. Exactly what I needed. Glad we came here then. Still need to find those shops, but this was worth. Mystic Forest. Gonna go in the forest yet. I am unfortunately gonna click around until I can find the other shops in this area. So we'll have to fight as many monsters as that takes. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. treasure. I forgot that's a thing in this game. <laughs> Ooh, okay. All of these would have been nice. But I'm glad we got the nuggets since I'm looking for the shop. The armor. A bizarre rock appeared. It seems primed to explode. Okay, so we're just back in the, the you can grind money section. 
So, in Beasts of Burden, these shops are what carried us through the entire game. So I'm hoping this is now where we're at. The bizarre rock transformed into a gold rock. Money. All right, that's 1,300 gold right there. I'm gonna save that because if we die to something stupid, I don't want to lose that much gold. Things are expensive. Ah, don't show me that. I forgot I'm supposed to cover it so I don't see the spoilers of who I'm supposed to see and not see. Fighting these enemies are annoying though. We'll say that much. the nugget again but that's okay quality omni cells are definitely going to be handy in this game i can see so i don't feel bad about it i just wonder how long it's going to take to see the armor i wonder how many stores there are going to be oh wait there's four so we've got the accessory store which i don't think we really need we've seen all the rings i believe there's the accessory store, the item store, the armorer. What was in the other one? The pets, the armorer, the item, and then the person who buys stuff from you. So probably also the person who buys stuff from you in this one too. Camera's really bright. See if turning it down is terrible or not. That's a little better. we don't get stuck with like two hours of seeing the lady who wants to buy stuff from us. Flame Rush. Deal two times fire damage. Hmm. How do I feel about that skill? Double fire damage. It took him a while to learn that too. But we also don't have Lavia in them anymore, so we need somebody with fire. He's got Thunderstrike. Oh yeah, they learned the... Group heal. We need to add that in. Um, this is where it gets tricky for her. Oh, that costs five. This does bolt damage, however... It does not do something like Paralyze or whatever. I'm gonna keep this because it's a plus 4 damage and an AoE. She can use it right at the start if necessary. I'm gonna take out Thunderbolt and I'm gonna put in the double heal. 
but if I need to use the heal, like if I know I'm fighting a boss or something, and I need to use this, this is better than an Omni Sav. I can just generate gems with the other characters, take the big hit since we can't defend, and then heal a lot of HP off of it. So I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna still keep the single heal though. Because that's got some good value still. Eventually I could take off Magic Strike and put in Thunderbolt if I really care about the attack. Maybe I just do that now anyway. Well no, because then she can keep the gym. I will I will keep this as is for now. I don't think he's got anything else now. And then now for you. He's already got Thunder Strike, he's got Grand Slice, he's got the self heal. <clears throat> Stab is still helpful. But I guess if I need gems, then I don't care to stab anyway. But I either only get to Flame Rush or I only get to Grand Slice. If I'm fighting a boss, then Flame Rush will be better. But also, if I'm fighting a boss, Stunning Blow might be better. Curing his own status ailments makes the self heal just amazing. And then the air thrust is just straight value. This is actually pretty tough. There's too many good things in here. I forgot he had stunning blow. Um, I mean, I can just give him double heal, but if he's poison, well, yeah, if he's poison, I don't have anyone who could dispel that. It only lasts three turns. I'm going to give him the double heal. Well, we got the thunder strike for the paralysis. It just costs a little more. That's okay. I think he's just our big ticket hitter anyway. Still like Grand Slice for the AoE. Still like Air Thrust just for the value. I think I go with this. He is an expensive person. Very expensive. Keep the double heal on her. Try that. Oh no, his speed's not even a speed tie with her at all. Oh, it was, and then her weapon upgraded, that's right. Okay. Give me my armorer, please. <laughs> don't make this be like the monster shop again, please. Please don't do that. Just give me the shop. Fortune favors the bull. Furball story, but I need this shop. Give me. Okay. Alright. What do 
we got? Oh, it's the, the accessory lady though. Having a fire sale, everything must go. So, Ring of Protection Two. Well, there's two versions. Interesting. Plus four defense, 4,500. Greatly protects. So these are the same stats, you just get extra protection. Uh, hmm. Interesting, poison ring. Greatly protects against poison, greatly protects against paralysis. What does that even mean? Does that mean that doubles the, you know, does that increase the role a person has to land in order to get poison to hit me? I don't know what that means. These rings are interesting. However, I cannot justify buying them yet. It costs too much. The merchant says it's time to move on and begins closing up his stall. How's that her? You cannot shop I guess it could have been him, but... Don't hold back. Fortune favors the bold. Oh yeah, he doesn't really have attacks. I forgot. I forgot already. He doesn't really have any basic attacks. He's already attacked the thing, right? I was like, why does stuff look so different? Very good reason for that. Hey, okay. armor room next, please. Okay. You come across an open air spot here. A okay. Sign reads, Maybe we'll get a premium on our golden nugget. As you peer into the stall, its proprietress calls out to you. This is an exchange shop. We'll pay good money for whatever you have. If you can but roll this well. this determines the price, she continues, revealing the die in her hand. All right, can I get the premium? No, of course. <laughs> Forever curse with threes when it comes to this. <sighs> I guess I can just not sell anything. I only have one nugget to sell anyway. Just sell it, it's fine. What if the store is next and I need 9k? It seems she's finished buying for the day. The proprietress begins closing up shop, and you go on your way. Cool. Alright, can I get the armorer now? We've seen three or four. That's always the one I don't need.
Odd viewers skip Fight two hours or whatever people say these days. <laughs> Goods bought here yet again. No, oh, thank you. You weren't really looking to sell anything, so you ignore it and go on your way. Here we go. <laughs> Why? Why does this happen? This is a fight, probably. Yep. The bizarre rock transformed into a fear rock. The only way out of this fight is through it. All right, let's do it. And fight. Everybody else see that this thing has 50 defense. What in the world? Are you kidding me right now? Uh, I guess I go for Wonder Stitch and try to get poison on it. Probably flame based anyway. Maybe I can paralyze it. Or maybe I can't. Teamwork makes the dream work. Oh. poison curse that's not helpful where is it can I you can't heal the enemy okay what does this do how much okay we did a crit for two damage nice to hurt it, I guess. Yeah, well, I think we got one. So are you always guaranteed to at least get one? Is that how that works? Yeah, it seems like you're at least guaranteed to get one. Magnificent. 
Why do they have 50 defense? That's really annoying. It's such an annoyance. That makes this fight unnecessarily long. They can't kill us. Oh, it could just kill itself immediately if it wants to. Okay. You see? Well, next time we see it, we just hope it does that immediately, I guess. Just heal the next fight. And fight! Open for the crit that would have killed. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're going to That looked pretty cool. Whatever, man. Why do you just hit everybody every time? That did nothing. All the healing we just did literally did nothing. Okay. Let's try that again. Heal this thing. Maybe this thing will heal this time. Let's heal ourselves again. <laughs> there we go. Okay. That's all I wanted. Another 500 gold that's good. Give me the armorer, please. Okay, this fight's gonna suck. This is not a fight for us to heal on. Not like that anyway. Got slow heal. Congrats. Hope 
you win. Yeah, we really like the armory now. Speed and a defense. That's pretty good. Armory, please. favors the bull. It's amazing how much more we crit when I don't have a crit ring on. Seems like when I put a crit ring on, my chance to crit decreases by like 70%. Just did some grocery shopping and it's so... It's negative one and windy. What in the world? No. That's not weather. That's just pain. That's so cool. And fight. Magnificent. Hopefully the grocery shopping was good. We are sitting here currently going back and forth across two map tiles trying to get an event to show up, which I always seem to have bad luck with. Um, so where we're at in the game, there's roaming shops that can just pop up as part of an event. There's four different uh, ones that can show up. One that's an armor, one that's an accessory seller for rings, one that's an item seller, and one that'll buy items from you. Um, I am currently trying to find the one that is an armorer, and I've been here for probably almost half an hour trying to find this thing. Um, so it's mostly enemies with a chance of a separate event of a bizarre rock and a chance of the shop showing up. I've seen every shop, including the one who buys things from you twice, but I've not seen the armorer. 
it is rather annoying. I have not found the armor. This happened in the Beast of Burden as well. There were four shops, a monster shop, an armorer, the lady who buys things in the item shop. I needed the monster shop and it took two hours for me to get it to show up. I saw every other shop multiple times. It took two hours for the monster shop to show up. So I'm hoping when before, the first time I ran through the area, the shop showed up quite often, more than the others. I couldn't even find the woman who sold items. And then when I was looking for the monster shop, I saw her like five times in those two hours. So, it's just my luck when I need something, I can't find it. It was alright, worse than normal, because you forgot your wallet, so you walked the trip twice. No! <laughs> oh, that sucks. You're here now, so the armor shows up within two minutes? I hope so. I will take that. We can get enemies to stop showing up instead. I mean, every little bit of gold helps because things are expensive in this game, it seems. But, at the same time. Like it very much. If, uh. What I want to show up. I just need the shop to show up so I can know what I need to, to buy. How much it's gonna cost me to determine if I want to grind for it or not. These fights are only getting me like 100, 150 gold. There's small chances to get 500 gold here and there, but you did great. It's not a lot of money to be made. So if something costs like nine grand. I'm not grinding for that. And come back later. But I can't get the event to show up. <laughs> You bought some chocolate milk that'll Hope probably you that'll probably warm up for the coming days because it's gonna be negative four in the evening. Mm -hmm. It's too cold. Too cold. It's kind of like that for us in the mornings right now, out in my area, and it's getting a lot of folks out here sick. But that's probably your high, right? Negative four, is that your high? Because that's about, that's a little, that's about our low in this area right now. Like in the mornings, for me, it's... It's about zero outside. Yeah, that's definitely cold. Definitely don't get a twist. That's some chilly weather. <laughs> For sure. countryside too so no buildings to block the wind I hate walking in downtowns when it's really cold and windy because wind just like becomes wind tunnels between some of the tall buildings and it's just so cold Because it just like swooshes through if you're on the wrong end of the building. Like if you're on the right end of the building, it's great because it blocks the wind and you don't feel it. But if you're walking like between streets and stuff, or walking between buildings going somewhere and that wind swoops through that alley and hits you, whew, uh -huh. Fight them off. that's way too much for me. <laughs> that's, that's a little brisk. Not a fan. Magnificent. Yeah, wind, 
<laughs> Chill sucks. It's like, oh yeah, it's minus four Excellent. outside, but then with wind chill, it's minus ten, and you're like, why? <laughs> this is terrible. Even if it's like zero outside, I can wear shorts and be relatively okay. That wind started blowing though. I don't like it. Where is my shop? Please, game. Why are you doing this to me, man? Come on. I know there's an armorer here. And fight. Please give him to me. I just want to see this and be on my way to the Eastern Island. You missed the attack, that's really bad. The shorts and that cold miss me with that. <laughs> if it's not wind blowing outside, it's okay, it feels alright. Yeah, like 16, I'll be happy. Mm. Yeah, 16's good. Um, I probably should have healed there. Please give me the up. Oh. Come on with the enemies, man. Wasn't there a ring earlier in the game that made you fight more enemies? I might even have that in my inventory. Maybe I'm dreaming that. I definitely don't have it equipped. I would not put it on. It'd be a terrible idea. Does XP matter? Um, so this is just the amount that you get from the fights in general. Um, it's been pretty consistent across all the fights. This game is different from the last one that I played of the same series in the sense that when you level up your characters, they primarily only get like one extra HP as their stat. The, the majority of their stat upgrades come from uh, their gear which is why I'm trying to find this armor so really to me the XP doesn't matter all that much just to, except to have more hit points the exception is with lack here since he's a spirit he doesn't wear gear so he does get usually two points of stats when he levels up every time and he's got a high rate of growth so he just out levels everybody on rare occasions, the humans will get a stat up, but not very often. So I don't really care about levels too much in this game. I just want gear. Oh, speaking of a level up, see, rare chance we finally get a level up with a stat. Usually it's just your level goes up and you get an HP. Getting extra speed is really nice. I haven't saved in a while, so let's do that. Um, so it's been another 30 minutes since doing this and we haven't seen our shop yet. Small boost so you never mega outscale the enemies. I guess so. Enemies feel like they wouldn't be it would be fine if you outscaled them a little bit. 
Because in uh, Beasts of Burden, you got level ups. Don't hold back. Uh, with stat ups every level. And the enemy scaling felt pretty similar. Like in this game, it actually feels more like the enemies have a slight advantage over you. It's not terribly bad, like combat's fine. It's definitely not as easy as the last game that I played, which is the most recent one in their series. This one came out 2022 and then Beast earlier this year, then Beast of Burden came out like months ago. And then the one I'm gonna play after this, because apparently I'm going backwards, came out in 2021. I thought it came out in 2018 for some reason. I don't know why I thought that. But if they release one of these like every three or four months, then I think that's awesome. They're really nice so far. Even though I don't like the story in this one as much as Beast of Burden, um, and even some of the gameplay elements as much, I still think it's a pretty and good game. Fight. I would still recommend it as a game to play. Beast of Burden is an absolute must. If you like this kind of game. Oh, they can do something besides an AoE. They just never do. Interesting. Nice crit. Magnificent. Yeah, where we're at right now, like, these monsters don't really pose a threat. I just like to be at full health at the end of every fight because some monsters can be threatening. But we haven't really had any trouble with any of the fights. We have the first night we got a game over, I think, twice at the start. So that made some misplays, but ever since then, it's like I might lose a character in a fight, but they're not perma dead. And then it's been fine. And fight. So for all my complaints about lack of stats, like it's not really a problem. And if I didn't play Beasts of Burden, I wouldn't have uh, first. I'm assuming Owl of Dragon Roar is going to be similar to this, uh, stat-wise. So if it is, had I played those first, I wouldn't even have a complaint. It's, I only notice it so because it's so starkly different from uh, Beast of Burden. Okay, we got us an event. Oh no, it's the will to do man, so we have a fifth event in here that's going to prevent us from getting our shop. Uh, Alright dude, what are you trying to give? Is it also a basic ring of protection like every other time on the other island so far? Yup, same freaking one. Don't want that. Okay, so there are a total of six events that I've seen so far. I need one of them to show up. So I have a one in six chance, well technically one in seven if you count enemies. And enemies seem to be far out more weighted than any other event. This is gonna take another three hours to find this dang shop. Critten. Okay, cool. Everybody's critting. I will take it. Magnificent. 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 I'm fine with Bolt Spore. You'll be dead. Dang, she did. 
Everybody was just not feeling this fight. They were all upset that the old man showed up and they took it out on the monsters. I don't blame them. They're ready to see something else too. Inside of the same grass and mountain patch. We literally walked in a circle for hours waiting on somebody to show up and it was an old man. Not selling weapons. Don't hold back. Should have healed her. Can now though. Come on, game. I would like to continue playing other things. And it's like you could always just come back never. <laughs> but I must see the shop. I need to know what's in there. And the, probably the, the sad thing is, is this shop is probably gonna suck and not have anything good in it. Supreme Salve, nice. Almost went middle, oh well. It's gonna have the same crap that the Western Island had. I'm gonna be annoyed, because there's nothing in there for me to buy. See, the amount that we're critting kind of makes up for us not having the gear, but... I want to know. I just need to see it, man. Just need to see it. This is going to be the rest of the stream. I'm going to be doing this until freaking 10 a.m. <laughs> Take the Supreme Savs. 40 heal is nothing to sneeze at. And it's nice that it's either a Supreme Sav or a quality on the Sav or a Nugget. So Treasures drop a whole lot more in Beast of Burden as well. So it's like the game is just easier, but their storytelling focus is so much stronger. So I hope every future game follows that formula as opposed to this one. But this one seems to be more focused on having interesting combat that feels kind of a little bit more Dungeons and Dragons-esque in terms of either being lucky or not. And there's less of a polish on the story. And I would much rather have it the other way around. Give me holes in combat, but just give me a super engaging story. Not holes in the sense that, like... It's just so skewed against you. The story's fantastic, but you'll die every single fight unless things go exactly your way and play perfectly. I would not want that. I don't mind if it's easy fighting for a really great story. Please give me my shop. Please. Ah, Bazaar Rock again. Oh no. The Bazaar Rock transformed into a treasure rock okay okay that's cool okay no the old man again leave me alone old man see this is what happens we start seeing some of the same events multiple times and i can't get the one event that i've not seen yet <laughs> Please. Please, game. Don't do me like this. Don't do me like this. Don't be cruel. 
Cause I would never leave that paint to you. <laughs> See, this is one of the few times Lack has only gotten one stat up. He usually gets two. We rarely ever get stat ups. Laddie gets more stat ups than he does. Which I'm not quite sure why that's the case. He's a better fighter. So you would think he would. <clears throat> Oh, he does a flip when he crits on that. That's pretty cool. That does a lot of damage. Holy crap. Because that last flip did 14. That's kind of nutty. Follow the... Oh, I meant, didn't mean to push E. I'm just going back and forth. I use the keyboard. It's faster than clicking. you to help me out, alright? Help me, help me. Alright. In this moment in time, it's about me. I need you to give me what I need. What? That's not good. Didn't want to have to eat that attack. Yeah, I was worried that might happen. Oh wait, I had enough. I could have done the triple attack. Or the AoE attack. I keep calling it a triple attack because it's three gems. But it's not actually a triple attack, it's an AoE. It'll hit all the enemies. man again please go away you're starting to become like the buyback lady in beast of burden i just need the armorer dude goods bought here oh no this is i think i got a nugget though speaking of the lady who <laughs> buys back goods 
never get the premium price either. Dude, this is so stupid. So dumb. Um, alright. I have 13k. That's a lot of money considering everything I'm fighting is mostly giving me 130 gold. Please. <laughs> Hit me. Give me the armorer, man. This is so stupid. Why does it take so long to grind this out to get this? This is why I want to see, like, how things were created and weighted. Because it seems bizarre to me that some things just show up so much more when there are so many chances for so many other things. And then one will just like not show up. Like it's based on a d20 roll and if it's in this range then you get this event or you get that thing or does it have to roll to beat? Like are there multiple roll checks? So like this roll, you check to see if it's past uh If it, if it fights a monster or not, it's a d10 and you have to roll a 3 or less. Or if you roll above a 3, you get a monster. If you get under a 3, then it rolls another die, it's a d20, and based on this range of things will determine the event. Like that? Well, that sucks. Cool. Let's just... Let's get our big heal off. Surprised that accessory shop didn't sell an evasion or a crit ring. Good work, actually. Or the ring that gives you an extra gem at the start of the fight. That's surprising. <sighs> I know it exists here. I know it exists here. Uh, I don't want to do this fight. Can I run? Okay, yeah. I don't want to fight them with extra defense. No, thank you. Maybe I just start doing this again and just start running from fights. Just to save some time. I think I do that. I just want this thing now. Probably just start running from fights. That's what I did last time and I still had to run from fights for like 20 minutes. But we can't fail a run, which is what it's funny it says that you have a decent chance. It's pretty much guaranteed. The lowest I can roll is a two, and I need a two or higher to run away. I would say that's more than decent. Double gold, huh? Alright, I'll fight double gold. I'll fight double golds and I'll fight double experience. Other than that, I'll run. Stays that way late game. 
The Beast of Burden, we were crit machines at the start, and that really started to fade towards the late game. Okay, huge sell. Okay. No! Oh, wrong merchant, dude. Wrong merchant, buddy. You're not the one I need. I'm glad you weren't the other two, but I need you to give me the one I need. Please. We were almost there. That's the first Don't time seeing that happenstance card, I think. I think I've seen the, the light one. I've seen the lightning and the wind, and I think fire. Doubles. Okay, game. I know what game you're playing. I don't want to play that game. I want to play this game where I get to get the shop that I want. It's now been almost another 30 minutes. Oh, we failed this one actually because we needed a three. Wow, that's a surprise. Would you look at that? We failed that. But I still call that decent. I would still call that a great chance, not decent. From out of nowhere, a sweet fragrance wafts over you. So now this is now an eighth event that can happen. <laughs> it's just decreasing our chances of seeing the shop more and more and more. You look up to see ripe fruit in the tree above. There's a reasonably sized stone at your feet. Precise pitch at the tree's bow could knock some fruit loose. We've seen this one before. We will throw it. You take up the stone in hand and wind up. All right. You have to roll a specifically a three or a four. No. Your pitch strikes a ripened fruit dead on. Its splatter rains down upon your heads. Nice. What? We took damage, 10 damage, from ripe fruit dripping on us? <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> what? Okay, you owe me my shop now. That's absolutely insanity. <laughs> that is absolutely insane. <laughs> Heck, man. All right. What kind of fruit was that? Another bizarre rock. Come on, dude. That is a monster. Okay. We run from the fear rocks. We can. Could be that one tree, the super poisonous one. Yeah, maybe it's just super poison. Just rain down poison on our heads. Acidic burns on the skin. I can accept that. It's <laughs> just like a orange splatter juice on you. You took 15 damage. 
Can you imagine that in real life? Try to knock down an orange from a tree. All right, double XP, we'll fight. Try to knock down an orange from a tree and then it just like hits you and splatters you and your arm breaks. <laughs> it's so weird. Imagine in real life how people find out which plants and fruits are poison. That's true. That is not an experience I'd want to have. Okay, good thing we've got our big heal ready. I mean, I hope most of the time they would find out by seeing which fruits and stuff and berries animals don't eat. Because then they're like, oh, why is that animal not eating that? Maybe that's a problem. Magnificent. Experience points, nice. And another nugget, awesome. Give me my shop game. No more wacky events. I just want my armorer, please. <sighs> it's literally gonna be two Don't hours before I find this thing. I think we're at an hour and a half now. Why? Why does it take this long to find an armorer? That's so dumb. Because you luck could have had it just as well where all I've seen is the armorer. Like, look, if I was trying to find the accessory person, all I get is the armorer. You know what? Bring me back the accessory person. Let me look at the rings again. Maybe I'll buy one. Bring her back. That'd be better than seeing these monsters I'm running away from. Barely escaped. Who's <laughs> definitely like that? Yeah. So yeah, give me, give me the armor. Let me see those, or the accessory lady. Let me see those rings. Let's go. Let's see if we can reverse psychology the game. But I still might buy a ring. Who knows? We'll see. If she shows up. Well, the game says he. He shows up. Or we'll just get enemies for the rest of the night. All allies land critical attacks. Okay, well that's a free win. Fortune favors the bold. have those sea graves to give to that guy. They're gonna be rotten before I get to them. So we'll just be constantly running from enemies all day. What if I run what if I run and drop them? Can you imagine a video game where if you do too much grinding, if you run from the fights, you have a chance to drop some items. And then only a chance to pick them back up again if you're in the same spot. Go 
double monies, okay? Do I really want to fight this fight? Oh. This fight's not bad. It doesn't have a big goblin thingy. Four gold, that's pretty nice. Another gold nugget, that's another thousand bucks. Okay, you got that accessory lady for me, or what? No, okay, <laughs> this is so dumb. Oh, this is so dumb. Maybe I should just go try to uncover map tiles. Maybe I'll find it closer to Hope town. You win. Um, uh, win by running away. Let's at least see some different patches of land for a second. I just thought it wouldn't take that long. Then I got stubborn. are in here. Hmm. They're easy enough. I can't believe I'm doing this again. I think I said and be so burdened that I wouldn't do this again and here I am. I'll probably do it in Isle of Dragon Roar. So dumb. Can't get any shop now. accessory lady to show up. Games on to my tricks. It will not 
be reverse psychology. So all we're just gonna keep getting is a bunch of enemies. This is really annoying. Last time this happened, because I, I, I was doing it for a little bit, and I was like, oh, I can't get the item shop to show up, so maybe there isn't one. And then I was looking for the monster shop, and all I saw was the item shop half the time. So it's definitely out there. It's just a really bad string of luck. Not surprising, though. I guess. giving me enemies. I, you know what? I would rather even just look at all of the wrong events for the next 45 minutes than look at enemy fights. Kill him. Wow. I should have in my eyeballs. That's great. Look, it's the assassin. Oh, you listen to me for that, but you won't listen to me for the. <laughs> you won't listen to me for the armorer. I can't stand you. <laughs> um, I don't think I still want any of this stuff. Lightning stay rings pretty good, but the enemy variety is so varied. I think the numb stay ring would be good, but we don't really get paralyzed often. Like we don't really deal with any of the status effects too often. It's mostly the elements, and it just changes so much. I guess the ring of protection is actually, you know, the best coverage overall. Unless you just need the speed, then you get the wind stay ring too. Would make him a lot faster. He already defends against wind anyway, though. I don't really want to waste that on him. That is the only one that gives four speed outside of the dark ring in terms of elements. The dark ring would be nice for him, though, because then he gets speed and attack. But. Seems like the events just happen on this tile. What if 
if I find two pieces of gear in there, each 7k. And then I'd be mad I bought the ring. <sighs> Can you please just give me the armor again? Please. 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 <laughs> see these events than monsters, but please, I just need the armor, dude. <laughs> We're so close. So close to the goal, man. I don't want to do this for another hour. If I do this for another hour and 15 minutes, I'm going to be sorely disappointed. That's about how long I'm streaming. It's maybe another hour and 15 minutes. I don't want to be doing this the whole time. It's not even worth saving a VOD for, almost. I just, like, highlight up to <laughs> me sailing to the ocean and then coming to this land and uncovering the forest and then just cut it off there and upload it to YouTube because this ain't even worth watching. story but I don't really have any like good stories most of the stories I have from my childhood kind of suck I'm not doing this fight I don't want to fight a wasp and a, a troll a goblin thing gotta cut a big chunk yeah <laughs> four hour stream cut out all of it except for the first 45 minutes Ugh. Goods bought here. Oh, good. Her again. <laughs> oh, see, now, now we've seen three out of four of the shops yet again. Yet again. Hey, we actually get a 20% premium this time. That's helpful. Uh... Maybe she's giving us one more, like, good sell. And then... Now that we have 15k... Now we... The... Our shop. I'm gonna sell this. Sell this. Not selling the rings though. I'm selling this garbage. See, we got 16k. We can buy two items that cost 8,000. I'm ready, game. I am ready. Okay. I'm good to go. I'm ready to rock. Go ahead and give me that shot. Accessory lady again. Sorry, lady. Dude. Game calls you dude. I need to remember that. Anymore. Okay. Now seeing the accessory shop three times. 
we've seen the item shop three times. Three. We've seen the buy goods from you. Four. We've seen the armorer. None. We've seen the bizarre rock three times. And the old man three mm. times. And the fruit sign once. Goods bought here. We've now seen her four times. Now it's the lady to buy stuff back from us who we were just at. And then we've seen monsters eight trillion times. Alright, I'll do this double XP fight. It's easy enough. requires a lot of XP for us to level up anyway, so it's in some ways not quite worth doing these fights, but whatever. Here we be. Two fights in one, so may as well. everything they're getting angry to. Yeah, we've seen all events at least one time. I still think there's eight total based on my guesstimation. So we've seen seven of them all. We've seen seven of eight at least once and we've seen six of eight at least twice. No, at least three times. We've seen six of eight at least three times. We've seen two of eight at least four times. And that one of eight still missing. Crazy, crazy. Why? How? He's getting antsy just sitting here doing this. Goods bought here. Her again. That's now the fifth time we've run into her. It's beasts of burden all over again. <laughs> Goods bought here again. That is the third time in a row that we've found her. But it's an event. Game, stop. Now you're just being rude. This is just being extremely rude. That is the sixth time we've run into her. Three times in a row. I realize I've been running from monsters. I got nothing to sell to you. Okay, more ripe fruit. That's the second time we've seen it. It's been the second rarest event of all of them. 
Can we get a successful throw? No. <laughs> We're gonna eat a ton Your of damage. Fails to even reach its target. You leave the area hoping to hide your embarrassment. Okay, that's fine then. I'll take that over everybody getting hit for 10 damage. Goods bought here. Why is the game doing this to me again? Why? That's the seventh time. Please, leave me alone, lady. Tell the armorer to show up so I can buy things. And then I'll have crap to sell to you. I need to buy things first. <laughs> this happened last time. This is playing out almost exactly as Beasts of Burden. Almost exactly. It's Ridiculous. <sighs> the, the problem is my stubbornality. Because I should not do this. I should just say, screw it, leave it be, let it alone. I don't need the gear deal with what I find or what I can buy in town no my game brain is like the game has to give it to me at some point I've got everything else I need this one to show up now and it should and so it can't let me leave <laughs> it is a problem it is a problem It took seven streams to beat Beast of Burden. It would have taken me six if I didn't do this. It's probably gonna be the same just like this. Well, this is actually part, what? Five? But I had a couple shorter streams though, so. Still, take away one of them because of this, you're good. hit the two hour mark of trying to find this shop by the way we've hit the two hour mark <laughs> bazaar rock for the fourth time we'll get a treasure the second time nugget nice or is that the fifth time let's see we've gotten two items we've gotten gold and then we got two fear rocks so that's the fifth time we've seen the bizarre rock actually Not fourth oh look it's the old man for the fifth time oh please where is the armorer there is an armorer here there will be one here there is one This is so bizarre. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Huge sale. Okay. Take a look. An 
item merchant again don't care if you don't sell anything go away see you another time I, I would like to see you never currently that can change later but right now I don't want to see anything but an armor I don't want to try my luck. Clearly my luck sucks. Because I keep running into you instead of finding the shop. I don't want to do this fight. It's not worth double XP to me. It takes me two turns to kill. and everything. I didn't even know that was a card. So we've we've learned that there are more happenstance cards than I've ever seen. I thought I've seen them all. I didn't know Freeze was one of them. That's kind of cool. But it took us two hours looking for a shop to see that that card even existed. <laughs> That's kind of sad. Oh my gosh, this old man. Leave me alone, dude. Please. fruit. Okay. Yeah, I should just start not throwing it. Because now we're going to take 10 damage again. I'm just going to start not throwing the fruit. Or throwing the rock at the fruit. This is just bad. It's just getting worse and worse and worse. I could very well end the stream and not see the stupid armor. I, I foresee that happening. I'm gonna do this for three hours and I'll have not seen the armor. Goods bought here.
don't even care about the gold anymore. I'm just running from every fight. I just want to find the shop thing now. Same with the XP. Don't care about multipliers anymore. Laddie was like training with her mom to become the maiden, and the mom died protecting Laddie. So that's why everyone hates her. Goods bought here yet a freaking again. Dude, I don't want to sell stuff to you. Grandma and Grandpa, I need y'all to leave me alone. Okay? Just leave me be. Want. stuff from the armory. Maybe the game's trying to save me from disappointment. Like, if you do see this armory, there's going to be nothing good here. Another freaking fear rock. And then I'll be sad that I spent all this time chasing an armory. That gives me nothing. But I would much rather see an armory that has nothing I want than do this for three hours and not find it. Grinding experience. leaving the fruit we're not we're not messing with that doing nothing you take your leave yeah <laughs> i don't want to kill my characters by getting fruit on their heads oh another bizarre rock okay another fear rock the oh, bizarre aqua rock one transformed into an aqua rock the only way out of this fight is through it no thank you also 50 defense? Yeah, not happening. I could probably kill it a lot easier with the lightning attack that we have, because it'd be weak to lightning, but I'm not... Not fighting a 50 defense monster. It'd take like four turns. at this shrine this this gal will get light damage attacks we've seen water we've seen fire she's probably either wind or light so she could be lightning it could just be the four main elements and then East is wind or something. 
more ripe fruit. This is no longer the rare event. How can we literally see so much of everything? And not even one of the other thing. What up, Yosuke? Maybe Yosuke can bring the Jag luck, because I don't, clearly don't have it. <laughs> How's the game going? Um, pretty terrible. <laughs> so remember in Beasts of Burden, I was letting, I told you how I was spent like two hours trying to find the monster shop? Well, here we are again in the Forsaken Maiden, almost at two and a half hours trying to find the armory shop. I've seen every event multiple times, just like Beasts of Burden. I cannot get the freaking armory to show up. And I'm being stubborn and not wanting to leave it be. Because these shops sell high quality stuff. So I want to see what's in there. Since stats from gear is key. Like if the stats were from level ups, I wouldn't be doing this. But since stats have to come from the gear primarily, I need to see what's in there. 24 hour stream. <laughs> no. My sanity would not be able to handle that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I would have a mental breakdown on stream. And just go into hysterics. I have to see the folks in the white suits come pick me up on stream. They'll turn the stream off for me. All I hear for the rest of, you know, the next five years is just the sound of dice in my head and seeing visions of old men asking me if I want to try my luck. <laughs> Lost your sanity. <laughs> Jeg, you never had it. Hmm. Huge cell, okay. Please. No! The accessory lady again. Come on. No! I guess I could have cheesed heals by healing with her and running with someone else. But I don't care. Healing in this game is easy. I can just go to the end for free. I care that much. I mean, I can even heal through any of these fights if I really wanted to. Not a big deal. How many fights have I even run away from at this point? It's ridiculous. You have one goal in mind, no heals. Yeah, that's a time loss. Going for heals. Oh yeah, I was gonna see if there's speed runs for these games. Be interesting to see how they play. I guess I can look that up on my phone since I can just do this with my mouse. to the YouTubes. Bizarre rock, okay. One, it's a treasure rock. Voice of, okay, cool, nice item. The bar. 
words. Good spot here. Don't want that one. percentage hour 15 for the hollow dragon roar anyway I wouldn't expect this to be a heavily ran game it looks like there's one video speed running this game or that game and speed running any of these games in an hour that's insane. There has to be some sort of skip involved. Well, I can't watch Isle of Dragon Roar speed run until after I beat that, so I don't spoil the story. Well, the, there was another one video that was like six hours, so maybe that one makes more sense. Maybe that other one was... I don't know. This the accessory lady again. Nope, this guy again, merchant. Get the monster shop speed run, yeah. <laughs> I got it an hour. Ha ha, new record. You know. At least the desk is nice. It's a nice table. Get a little floral pattern. Now I'm hungry. So now I'm sitting here going insane. And I'm hungry on top of it all. I don't even know what I would want to eat. I've been struggling with that lately actually. Like, I get hungry and I'm just not sure what I want to eat. Like, nothing sounds appealing, you know. It's probably just stress. I either have two modes when I'm stressed. I either just want to eat everything and I become just like this gigantic pig. Or I just don't know what I want to eat. Can't decide. the same way too yeah so since I can't decide then I'll just be like eh I guess I won't eat then <laughs> and then my stomach will growl later and it's like no you need to eat something so I'm like okay I guess but I don't know what and I'll just like go to the fridge and just grab a couple of pepperoni or something but then other times it's like okay I need like five guys I'm gonna scarf that down and I'll have Popeyes, because there's no good chicken places around here. And six other things. And then three quarters of bubble tea. Large, please. And just eat all of it. It's terrible. And then I feel like trash. Eat so much where you get bloated and want to go to bed. <laughs> We don't eat nothing and don't need to go to bed. But you start to get a headache, yeah. Body's running on nothing. It's like, you ain't gonna feed me or sleep me? Yeah. That's gonna be a problem. We're going to give you a bad time now. I hope you enjoy. But even like food that I cook, I just don't even want to eat it. It's, I can cook well. I make good food. And I just look at it and I'm like, I don't want this. <laughs> I don't know what. Like, it's tender meat, well seasoned, moist, got some nice potatoes, whatever, you know. I just don't want to eat it. In this mode, it's the, I'm not sure what I want to eat. That's only a couple weeks ago. Because before then, it was like, I want to eat everything all the time. 
and now I just don't know. It's just, it just flipped out of nowhere. I've also been stressed with work. So I know that's part of it. Oh my gosh, there's never gonna be a shop. I almost just wanna, like, look up online if there even is one. Maybe there's not one in this game. I'm assuming there is, because this happened in Beasts of Burden. Maybe it just doesn't exist. And I've, <laughs> I've wasted two and a half hours. <sighs> but you can't really find information on these games online. It's hard to find, because it's so niche. No one really does anything with it. Right, is there one? What's up the cards? Forsaken Maiden. Um, Rome. Let's see. That doesn't help me at all. Don't want the fruit. Don't want to get hurt again. Yeah. This has all been an illusion. <laughs> Bro. This is so dumb. Just so dumb. This event's stupid. You either have to roll a one or a six or you get a fight. It's way tougher in this game. The last game, or in uh, Beast of Burden, they had like, like 13 defense or something. The event is the friends we made along the way, and all the fruit that wanted us to throw stones at it. We got nice and sticky. We met a lot of grandmas and grandpas. Saw a lot of rings. Watched a lot of rocks explode. Made a lot of monster friends. Gained a few levels. Um, but never saw a weapon. <laughs> the most peaceful of gameplay. Like I'm playing RuneScape or something. How many steps do I need to take? Level up high enough to see the shop. You must take 40,000 steps before you have enough perception to see the roaming shop. I don't know how many steps I've taken, how many times I've moved across these tiles. Well, I guess we're going to give the sea grapes to the guy tomorrow. Now watch. Tomorrow, I'll spin up the stream, and within five minutes, I'll find the armorer. And I'm gonna be cranky about it. Oh my gosh, old man, go away. Can't you have somebody else try their luck? land crit attacks. I don't care. I'm gonna make this fight easy, but I just don't care. I mean, the fights aren't hard, but 
I can one turn it instead of two, guaranteed. I just can't be bothered. <laughs> about these hidden shops. play this and you can't get a lot of info online yeah I know I ain't gonna make a guide for this game though so I don't blame other folks for not it's a pretty straightforward game this is just the only weird part It's good there's not a lot of info in the game, just except for the major spoilers. But in this day and age where, you know, I can't find that information in a Game Facts magazine, it would be nice for it to be online. like a waste of a stream to let it go. Hey, it feels like a waste of a stream to go do something for 30 minutes and then stop the stream. It would just be better to do this for the last little bit of the stream and then start something important tomorrow. Uh, I should have let it go hours ago. Should have let it go after 20 minutes. We must not give up. <laughs> don't. Don't give me hope. Cool. I mean, getting those is nice because I have not been buying status effects healing items. It was pointless to do that last game, so I assume it's pointless to do so here. I didn't even use many of them. I used a few. Not that many. I thought I would need a whole lot more. We probably just got lucky that a lot of status effects didn't land, or got thrown at us all that much anyway. We 
probably only had status effects thrown at us like 20 times. And it only really hit us like 6 or 7. So it was pretty low. Okay. As long as you explode into that. So I don't have to do a fight. Oh! So it's not that every time. We got a large sooth stone this time. Okay, so something new. Like how many roll checks, how many different scenarios are there? I could literally be here for five hours and not find the thing because there's so many different things that can happen. Does that mean he can offer other things for me to try my luck with? Have I been passing up on gear because this? Should I just buy his crappy ring or, in, or is he just gonna sell me another one later? He only ever has this ring. Maybe you have to just tempt your luck and he offers something better each time you fail and buy his crappy item at overpriced. Okay, I... this is getting ridiculous. There must... there just has to not be a armorer. There just must not be one. There just must not be one. There's, like... But the mo uh, uh, there has to be one because this happened last game. I had known the monster shop was there because I ran into it early, saw it two other times, and then when I needed it, didn't show up for two hours. But I knew it existed because I had seen it before in that same area. So the fact that I have not seen it yet here does not necessarily mean it's not here. I could just be having the worst luck in the universe again. So mean. Just mean for no reason. is not what I need, lady. And the reason why it's helpful to find this guy is because the gear that we have seen in stores costs two arms and four legs. So if I can get it cheaper, that would be wonderful. Money is much more of a premium in this game. This old man. Can you just go to town or something and stop being out here? Pretty soon I will side with the humans, or the monsters, to destroy all the humans. Except for the armor, so he's the only one I can find. <laughs> and then use all his armor to kill all the monsters. And then he can hide away, because I'll never find him again, so he'll be safe. Just finding him once is only yet, that's the only time it's gonna happen, I guess.
Good's bot here. Yet again. Why does she show up so much in these two games? I need to find a developer who worked on this game. I'm gonna have to go to Twitter and sort this out. And just ask them why. Why you do this? Why make me suffer like this? This is so dumb. <laughs> this is like the worst stream ever. I'm sorry. I not like suffering. <laughs> exactly. I feel like if I tell them that, they'll just be like, oh, so we succeeded. <laughs> Good. Make sure to do that double in the next game. But I feel like after all this searching and not finding it, they owe me the ability to be the narrator for the next game. How many people are gonna do this? You know? Not many, probably. I wonder how many people have played these games. Mm. Old man is just following me everywhere. I cannot get away from him. He's just chasing me across the world. Yes, I know. Push the wrong button. Goods bought here again. It's the same stuff. <laughs> the same things. Uh, please. More fruit. It's literally everything the same. Cap I get tomorrow will take like no time at all. Dang it. The accessory merchant again.
dude's butt here. Again, dude, she is just relentless. I've got nothing for you. Please go away. Can you and the old lady who want to keep buying my stuff just go get hitched? Then focus on yourselves and not me. Hmm. How long did it take you to find the card? Yep. <laughs> yes, it did take long for me to find it. I'm glad you noticed. How long? Mm -hmm. About that long. sleep and I'm gonna dream that I'm still looking for this shop and then I find it and then it's just gonna have gear from the first village I'll just spend the rest of the dream crying it's uncontrollable sobs wake up pillow is soaking wet from tears because I cried in real life <laughs> This would make a good mobile game. Not a gotcha, but just like, just straight up turn this into a mobile game. I think it would work out pretty well. Next stream, first encounter. Dude, I know. I know. It's gonna happen in the first encounter or within the first five minutes and I'm gonna be so elated and disappointed at the same time. Elated that it showed up. Disappointed that it showed up that quick and didn't show up tonight. And then I'll be absolutely mad because it's going to have a bunch of garbage gear that I don't even need because it's too old. I have better stuff. And then I'll decide, okay, let me get a ring. And then I won't get the lady to show up for the ring. And then I'll go to this town. I'm gonna go to the east first. I'll go to the east and it's gonna have just like super baller gear I could have gotten two hours ago. And got some story progression going. And I'll be really mad. <laughs> I'll probably find some place that's got secret dungeon gear or something and then it's gonna just be blowing everything out of the water and this was an actual entire waste of time. Like, I just don't want this to be a waste of time. That's why I want it to show up. It's like, if I stop, then it's become a time sink and waste of time. If it shows up, then it wasn't waste of time because if the point was to get it to show up, I just need it to show up. At this point, I don't care if the gear sucks. I just want to see it. I just need to know it exists.
like, we'll give it to you next time you throw fruit. Hey, look, we finally saw the freeze card again. A rare happenstance card shows up more than a shop. <laughs> That's so bad. Watch I upload this to YouTube and somebody sees it and they're like, yeah, I did this for 12 hours. There's no shop. <laughs> First of all, I would admire their tenacity to do that for so long. If I was a little bit more crazy, I'd do it. And a little less tired. I could, I am not doing a 24 hour stream for the foreseeable future, but it unfortunately almost see myself doing this for 24 hours trying to get it to show up and still be convinced that it exists and I just have terrible luck so after 12 hours that's I would just I don't know for some reason I wouldn't think that it doesn't exist after 12 hours I'd still just keep going Oops. this must be a stela of the Isles guardian spirit Yes, it is. We heard some sort of game dialogue. Weird. Almost forgot what the narrator's voice sounded like. Though a nice reprieve from him constantly talking and breaking the immersion of us sailing in the water. is the last one. It's gotta be a shop. store. I'm tired. Can't do this anymore tonight. <laughs> I won't do it tomorrow. Tomorrow we will just go. If it shows up, it shows up. We'll not do this tomorrow. Will not. I'm saying this out loud more to convince myself than to convince you that I won't. <laughs> Cannot. Should not. I won't not. Wait, doesn't won't not mean you will?
The success and feeling good that you got it. I know. I know. I want the shop really bad. I want it. But I can't. I can't do this. <laughs> Not for two streams in a row. I, I, I just cannot do this. <laughs> no. I have a feeling if I do that, everyone who follows me on any platform will just like, even if they don't come here, because they haven't been here in forever, they'll just get the sense and inkling that they need to unfollow me <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> and I'll just hit zero on all of my platforms. <laughs> no followers, no YouTube subscribers, no nothing. All because I did this again for three hours. <laughs> I need to unfollow Jagger for some reason. I don't know why. I haven't even thought about this dude in six years. I need to unfollow him though. And just get this gut feeling. That was a cool VOD. I liked your playthrough of this. We're done. GG. Which puts a disclaimer on my channel. This guy grinds unnecessarily. Watch at your own risk. Can I get a store though? I'm actually trying to end this. I can't get a store. Oh no. <laughs> I need to go. Anywhere but here. Anywhere away from you. We're done here. of Aura's bit bot. Well now I'm out of here. Keep a lead. I wonder what's gonna be the next thing to replace Peepo. Or the Pepe Pay Frogs or whatever. So everybody wondered what was going to come before those came up, and then it was those. It's like, well, what's going to be after those? A lot of folks are starting to hate them. They're hanging on well, but a lot of folks are starting to get annoyed by them. Like, what's after Giga Chad? You know? <laughs> Fruit again? Alright, you know what? I'm going to throw a rock at you. Maybe if I take more damage, the shop will show up. And damage. Yeah, for sure. Everything that becomes big memes is just like baffling to me. How did that, of all things, become the thing? Why? Don't comprehend. I guess these two hours, that would have been a great time to do a, have a conversation about the universe and how it works. <laughs> Anything interesting worth thinking about besides this? Too tired to think of anything. <sighs> Why can't I get a shop to show now? Goods bought here. That's not a shop. Technically not a shop. I need the one that lets me click on it. That says huge sale. Uh, 
I'll, I'll give the game its fair shake. And it's going to return in kind by making me do this for another hour before I even get another store to show up, period. What? <laughs> this is awful. I, I, I definitely should just... <laughs> I should just highlight the VOD for the first 40 minutes and just upload that to YouTube. I should not put this whole thing up. I'm probably going to forget and put this whole thing up, but I really shouldn't put this whole thing up. And if there wasn't a story in Omega Village at the start, I wouldn't even export this VOD to YouTube. <laughs> like, I would just delete it off of Twitch as if I didn't even stream tonight. This is terrible. <laughs> so bad. Uh, watch to learn from my mistakes. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. Use this as your example. Learn from me. We must be better. I guess I could have talked about Thor Ragnarok spoilers all game. Uh, that is not a huge sale event. I need a huge sale event. event please okay please this is the last one if this is not it I'm done I can't do anymore please just give me no man Ugh, it's the item shop guy again you went to go see Black Panther, that was a really good movie. I haven't seen any spoilers on it. I'll watch it when it comes to Disney+. Plus. Um, I saw some folks had some mixed feelings about it, but generally it seemed to be positive. So that's good. Alright, well, that was our last attempt. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. What if the next event is a shop though? <laughs> Then we'll see it right at the start of next stream. Because we all know I'm going to start the stream. I'm going to feel too stubborn to skip it. And I'm going to spend at least 10 to 20 minutes trying again. Before I finally give up and go on with the story. We know that's going to happen. So I'm preparing you all now. That it's going to happen. Because I can't help myself. But it is late. I need to sleep. I am tired. Felt like I wasted everyone's time today. What a day. What a day. Very interesting day. Uh, but thank you for hanging out. And I will be back tomorrow. We will pick up from here. We will figure out the story on who these folks are, what's going on, and why she looks happy and she looks so angry. But thanks you for hanging out, keeping me company, chatting it up. And I will see y'all later. <laughs>